surprise we are back and if you don't remember us from last year allow us to introduce ourselves i am ranger ally i'm ranger madison and i'm ranger claire and we are announcing that we are officially back next thursday september 22nd on the first official day of fall mm -hmm. we'll be posting a live broadcast on our facebook at 2 p.m on that thursday but you don't have to worry if you happen to miss it it'll also be posted later on our youtube and our facebook oh and, and our website excuse me yeah and one of the favorite things that we like to do on our uh, weekly broadcast is to do a peak check when we check the color of the uh of the park so let's do one now peak check Yes, and it's green. It's green. <laughs> uh, and it probably will be next week, but we're going to keep the progress going so you guys know mm -hmm. what is happening and what we're seeing in the park every week so you can plan your trip around it. Um, and since we have your attention right now, we're going to add on a few more housekeeping tips. Um, one of those is Old Rag. Mm -hmm. So currently you are required to have a ticket to hike Old Rag and all the information about how to get your ticket, um, everything you need to know is available on our website, so go and look there first. But one of the main points that we want you to remember is that there is no connectivity at the fee station at Old Rag. So it's really important before you make your way to the boundary to already have purchased your ticket and to possibly even take a screenshot of it to be able to show the rangers when you're there. Yeah, this was a pilot system and the goal of it was to um, monitor and protect resources and to improve visitor experience. Uh, we have been collecting data since March, and on November 30th, the pilot will conclude, at which point management will review the data, and then they will make plans for the future. Mm -hmm. Another housekeeping that we want to get out of the way is let you know about our campgrounds this fall. So what you need to know that is that every weekend, all the reservable sites for our campgrounds are already booked. And there is another option. You can do first come, first serve. And we'd love to explain that, <laughs> yeah. but we really think Ranger Claire should do it. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets a little complicated, so I'm going to do a short campground tutorial, and I have a visual aid. Let Thank you, that. Allie and Maddie. So there are five <laughs> campgrounds in Shenandoah. Dundo Group Campground is for groups only. Lewis Mountain Campground is um, all first come, first serve. So whoever gets there first claims the site and stays as long as they want. The other three campgrounds are Matthew's Arm, Big Meadows, and Law. Each of those has a combination of first come, first serve sites and reservable sites. So if you look on your, our website, you will see maps like this for each of the campgrounds. And if you look closely at any of the ones that have reservable sites and first come, first serve sites, you'll see that they're denoted in color. So the red ones, this is Big Meadows, the red ones are reservable sites. The black ones are first come, first serve sites. The reason that this is important is all of these red sites, which are reservable, are already reserved. So your chance of getting a site has to happen in these black ones for a week, for the weekend. Now we have plenty of, of availability during the week, so if you can come in, that's always best, but if not, I wanted to be sure that you understood that if you come, let's say you come on Thursday and you want to stay for the weekend. When you get into the campground, you need to be sure that you choose one of the first come, first serve sites. It's in black on the map. And also at the reservable sites, there's a sign that says reservable on all of those. You want to stay away from those because if you come on Thursday night and you claim one of these sites, you can stay all weekend. But if you claim one of these sites, you will have to vacate Friday morning because they're already reserved for Friday night and Saturday night. The other important thing to know about first come first serve is that you have to be on site to claim the site. You can't call ahead. You can't uh, reserve it at the entrance station when you come in. You have to be on site at the registration of that particular campground to claim a site. So I hope that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> I think that's an excellent clarification. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it for this short announcement. Make sure you join us next week for more tips and our color update. Yeah, we'll actually have a new way to track fall color this year, and we will make that announcement next week. So make sure you tune in at 2 on Facebook next Thursday. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>